That is an enormous strike there. Already thick black smo uh, smoke rather seen over Gaza City today. An Israeli missile hitting the headquarters of the Palestinian security forces. Israeli troops massing at the border ready for a ground invasion. All along the Gaza Strip, outposts have now popped up. Communication centers have been moved in and set up over the past 24 to 48 hours, and now it resembles an armed camp. These are valuable hours, daylight, while they can practice inside these fields that are relatively secure before the go order is given, how to move through Gaza, how they're going to clear houses, who will go where on what street. The waiting is the very worst part. For the young guys, they're gung-ho. They want to go in. For the older soldiers, they know that some of the men they're with now in these camps, eating, telling jokes, and of course training with, won't come home alive. Overnight, the air war entered day six with continued pounding of targets inside Gaza. Large explosions indicated many of the targets hit were weapons depots. So far, the Israeli Air Force has hit 1,300 targets, killing nearly 100 Palestinians, including a family of 11 in what appears to be a targeted killing gone wrong. The images of dead and injured children in Gaza has hurt Israel's case for its continued offensive. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Israeli president Facebook this home video of a family taking cover in Tel Aviv's main park. A father comforting his crying baby as Hamas rockets fly overhead.